All right, how's it going, everyone? I hope everyone's having a great day. But, you know, if you're not, maybe this is some form of escapism for you. You can tune in and watch the next episode of my intriguing Minecraft Let's Play. As you saw from the time lapse, we worked on this area over here. I added all these bushes and vines, and I built up this crane, which I'll talk about a little bit more in, in a few seconds. But, um,. I, some stuff happened between episodes, and it's uh, it's pretty frustrating, but we'll talk about that as well in a bit. I, I finished the floor for the whole sawmill, and then I, I decided to add these boxes and crates and stuff like that. These are kind of like items that the, the, the carpenter that works at this sawmill would make and maybe sell or something like that. It's just stockpiled up there. But um, this is the crane. So this crane was built by a YouTuber. I'm kind of blanking on his name right now, but I will have his video in the description. If I forget to do that, please comment and let me know. But I'm tr going to try my best not to forget that anyways this crane it looks really good it's kind of like a, a bit different from um, the youtubers version I kind of changed it up a bit but um what I had to go through to get this crane you know I need these those chains that are um, horizontal because the regular ones are vertical and um, I also just want to add that the carpet up here I'm gonna change a texture pack so it looks more like hey I just did that for mob spawning but um anyways back to the chains I had to update to 1.16.2 or 3 for the chains and um, I was just at 1.16.1 for a while and um, then I, I loaded up my world but I didn't make a backup and it kind of got corrupted and my minecraft world is pretty weird right now I had to like delete some kind of data files or something like that I'm not really sure what went on there but um it's all just weird right now and the replay mods not working it's not 1.16.3 so kind of just messed everything up and that really frustrated me I kind of took a little bit of a break from Minecraft because of that it just really stressed me out but you know it's not a big deal it's just a game whatever no big deal I guess kind of no it really did make me angry but whatever moving on Today we're going to be working on something different because we uh, we basically finished the sawmill last episode and I did a little bit more things or, uh, you know, I finished off camera, but, but you know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about, I'm kind of rambling on here, it doesn't really matter, we're going to move on and uh, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be working on today. Alright, so in today's plans, what I have for you guys is this area that you're about to see right now, boom. Um, not under me, but right in front of me, right here. This area is where we're going to be working today, and what we're going to be doing, it's a mystery, you know, I was, uh, I was, don't mind these, uh, these chests up here, but, um, anyways, what we're going to be doing is, you know, I was playing around in Test World, and I was like, you know what would be cool to put here? Uh, a forest, like a big forest, and then maybe, like, a house or something like that, just, like, this, like, closed off, really cool atmospheric forest, but then I was like, you know what, maybe like I'll add some greenhouses or something like that. So I was thinking at first maybe a big greenhouse, but then I was like maybe a few smaller greenhouses. And my mind was kind of just bouncing all over the place like it is right now. And um, you know what, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you like an outline, and then uh, we'll be back and we'll talk about it. All right, so this is what we're looking at, and might as well fly over here to get you guys a better angle. But um, down here, as you can see, there's a ton of mobs because I haven't lit anything up. But anyways, the there's like a path that snakes around, and it goes from the train tracks to um, that section that we kind of just walked through, that mountain area right there. Um, anyways, though, these outlines here are for the greenhouses themselves. And as I said, I plan to have like a foresty area around here, so there's going to be trees dotted along everywhere. And I want it to feel very like closed off and atmospheric. And if you don't really know what I mean by that, you'll see by the end of the video. But if you do, that kind of just gives you a bit of an early outlook at what I'm trying to achieve. Anyways, though, I'm going to do some work. I'm probably going to build up a greenhouse and I'll show you guys what they look like. All right, gentlemen, I just want to apologize quickly. I had a clip showing off me walking around this first greenhouse, and you could probably see it a bit in the background, but the screen's kind of glitching out. Don't really know what happened there. Don't really know how to fix it, but I can't really do anything about it, so we're just going to jump to the next clip, and I guess I'll talk about it then. All right, so that was pretty inconvenient, but anyways, I moved on, and I built the interiors, not the interiors, the exteriors of all of these houses, most of them. I think, I think I'm just going to stick with this amount. I think I have like seven or eight of them here, and I think that's pretty good for the other area that's not filled up we're gonna do something else but anyways I'm really happy with how they turned out you know I got leaves and vines to make it look overgrown and I have this like dirty muddy path that I usually don't go with I usually go with like a gravel or stone path but this one's coarse dirt we got some granite and we got some brown concrete powder to simulate mud kind of and then uh, for the steps and stuff like that I have spruce anyway so this is the interior for the first greenhouse that I built you guys didn't get to see this but I'm really really happy with how this turned out you know I have some bushes and some flowers going on in this one but all of them are going to be a little bit different you know I'll have like a pumpkin one and like some crops stuff like that just random stuff that you can grow in greenhouses and I think that it just makes them all look really cool because there's some kind of variation and overall I'm just really happy with this area it's nowhere near done you know I haven't done all the overgrown stuff and added the trees and rocks and stuff like that 
but um this is what i have so far and i'm really happy with this area definitely going to put in some more work in this episode and see how far we can get definitely not going to be finishing this massive colossal area right now but yeah moving on to the next clip Okay, so as you can see, I've done a little bit more work. I've added some custom trees, and I really like the way these two trees ended up. You know, there's like kind of like this arc, connecting arc to them, and it's this entrance area. This is what I was talking about, this this uh, overgrown, atmospheric-looking thing with all these trees coming in, and I added bone meal and stuff like that to make it feel overgrown, and I haven't done the rest of the trees, but if you're wondering how I do these trees, I, I basically take the regular oak saplings and then I add stone brick around them so you could get those weird, clunky, ugly, big trees, and oh, this I also need to talk about. This greenhouse, I changed up, you know, I did what I was going to say, melons and pumpkins, and I think it looks really good, maybe even better than the other side. I added some shelves and stuff to the back, but this is what I was talking about, diversi diversification, you know, I'm going to be adding different things in all of the greenhouses, but... Yeah, so the trees, I've only finished these two front ones, haven't done any of the other ones. I kind of added some uh, spruce and oak logs to them, but, you know, I still need to do all the leaves, and doing that is just pretty annoying, collecting leaves. Don't really like doing it. Shears break fast, and I don't know, but um, anyways, I'm pretty happy with how this area turned out. You know, I added these rocks over here, I dotted them around all over the place, just using stone and andesite, because those are like natural stone blocks. I was going to use cobble, but I was like, nah, that won't fit in. And then I, I bone milled the area up, I added some flowers and some berry bushes, and overall I'm just really happy with this place, this area, I really like the vibe, I need to get some more leaves in and make it feel more closed off, but for now I think this is pretty good. Alright, so moving on away from that area, we have some other stuff to do in this episode, but I just wanted to stop here quickly and just look at this area. It's so much, it's so big, I don't know what to do with it. I, I know we're going to go with that forest idea, but it's just, it's such a big area. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'll think about them. You know, maybe I'll incorporate some of the ideas, maybe they'll spark some thought in my mind. You know, what, what I was thinking right now is maybe we could add some kind of beach or some docks or something like that. You know, this river isn't the biggest, but we could make something work. I I know what I'm going to do up over here by this mountain, but just down here in this area, it's just, there's so much space, so much land. Doing all these custom trees is going to take a while. Maybe I'll stick that through, maybe I'll finish that idea, but if you guys have anything you want to see here, if you have anything that you think will look good, just let me know. All right, flying around my world here, deciding on what we should do, I realized that last episode we didn't build any houses over in this area. We kind of skipped this, and I said that we would be building a few houses each episode. And, you know, you know, I don't have to build a house every episode. It's not some kind of rule of the series or anything like that. But, you know, I just want to get this village done. I've been enjoying it. I really like seeing how it's coming together and adding all these different houses. I, I feel like I've improved my skill to build houses compared to the other side of this village, so it kind of looks too different and this this side kind of looks a lot better and atmospheric that's kind of like the word of the video atmospheric you know I just want everything to feel real and atmospheric and kind of closed off that's the way I like building but anyways we're gonna be working on this last house in the three townhouses kind of thing um, not quite sure what I'm gonna do and sadly replay mod isn't working I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in another one of the clips but replay mod isn't working so I'm just gonna be doing updates instead of a time-lapse kind of unfortunate but you know it's it's okay to change things up, and uh, these these things are annoying me. I, I just, I, I don't know if this is a feature that's good or bad, but n you know what? No, I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't know what I was even thinking. This is a horrible feature. Why? Why do they come after me? I don't want to sleep. You know, I'm not beat up below. I don't, I don't get scared of the night. I look, I like looking at things in the night, and they just, they're harassing me. They're annoying me, and just, come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Seriously. All right, here we are at the first progress update, and you know, I've put in a good amount of work. I've done some stuff. It would have been cool to do in a time lapse, as I said, because I did a lot. I'm not going to lie. I did a lot of stuff. I, um, uh, you know, as you could see, it's more spruce. I use a lot of spruce wood. All three of these houses are made out of spruce for like the main details and stuff like that. Added this doorway, got these windows here, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. You know, I also added some, um, what's it called, some birch to lighten up the area up here where the windows are, and I'm going to do that above as well. Hopefully that'll shine through, and I need to add my signature touch of leaves to lighten everything up, but this is what it's looking like right now, and I'm going to do another jump cut and show you guys what I get done. All right, so I basically finished the house, you know, at least the front part of the house, it's done, kind of. 
um, added the leaves, added the top area, added the roof. The roof's going to be made out of cobble. I think it kind of stands out and it looks pretty cool. It doesn't really go with the stone brick at the bottom, but you know, it's different. It's cool. It's fine. What is this spider doing in this corner? I have no idea. Come on, man. Get out of here. What are you, what are you doing? Um, anyways, didn't touch the side, didn't do the roof, didn't do anything like that. So I still have to do all of that. But the front, it's looking really good. What I said about the birch, yeah, it stands out. It looks nice. I really like it. I think it makes it look different from the other two townhouses. If you look at it from this angle, um, I'm really happy with this house. It's simple and it just, it looks nice. So uh, moving on to the next jump cut. All right, so here we are, and I finished the entire house, the back, the sides, everything like that, except for the interior, obviously. <laughs> Who really does Minecraft interiors? Come on. Uh, anyways, I did the roof, and I added this chimney to the side to add some detail. However, I had this, like, 6,000 IQ moment where I was like, you know, I light up all these chimneys, I put the fire in all these chimneys, I'm going to leave it out for this one and add some diversification, some atmosphere, you know, all of that good stuff, you know, change something up a little so it's not like all of the chimneys are lit at the same time, you know, maybe this guy went out, he's at the market, he doesn't need his, his fireplace running. Anyways, though, this is the nice angle, you know, I like walking in the streets and showing you how it looks like from the ground because this is how the regular people would see it i guess i don't know why i'm like building some kind of i don't think it's lore or anything like that it's just me picturing myself being in this village and overall this house is finished we've added another house to the collection i have like this house and this house right here we're going to do that in the next episode that'll finish this side of the street and then we have like four or five other houses let me see how many houses we actually have left to do probably knock out like two maybe like one or two every video we have like one two three four yeah so four houses to do and then this village will be complete we'll just add some details and stuff like that and um yeah but moving on i don't know what we're gonna get up to now all right guys so i actually decided that that's it for today's video I'm pretty busy because of school right now. I'm not really a big fan of the whole school thing. It's not really my thing. I'd much rather just play video games, but what can you do? That's life. Anyways, though, walking around in this village, and uh, it's making me kind of think about how much more I like the other village that we're working on now. It feels a lot more atmospheric. You know, got to use that word again because it does. You know, this village feels a lot more open and barren and kind of not alive in a way. But what can you do? You know, I, I've learned from my mistakes, and next time we build a big village like this, I'll change things up. You know, maybe I'll even come back to this village and change things up, add some more details, and make it feel a lot more claustrophobic and closed off. I think that just makes things look a little bit more real. Anyways, though, like I said, that's it for today's video. I hope it's not too short. I hope you got your fill of Minecraft content. There's there's 100,000 Minecraft YouTubers out there, but, you know, everyone does things in a different way, and I kind of try to change things up, but keep it simple and keep it regular, I guess. I don't know what I'm really talking about anymore. This was episode 5 of my Minecraft Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great day. See you guys in the next video. Music